The Loads tab is where you define the loading that the member needs to support. In this video, you'll learn how to enter loads and what types of loads you can add. The member graphic displays on the left side of the tab and is available on multiple tabs. This graphic helps visualize the member. The Loads tab also displays heights at the top for reference. The heights that display depend on the type of vertical member. This is calculated from the inputs in the Height and Supports tab. For wall columns, you can set a tributary width. This affects how much lateral load is applied to the column. Choose eccentricity for vertical loads here. Pick the amount of the member's side dimension to offset the load from center. The larger the offset, the less load the member can support due to increased bending stresses. For vertical members, you add a load by clicking Add Load. This adds another column to the grid and you can manually specify type, magnitudes, and add a comment. So you remember where the load is coming from, for example. And deleting a load is also easy. Just select Delete. If you are designing multiple members where one member is supported by another and you want Forte Web to do the math, you can also transfer reactions. Select Link Reaction from the drop-down. Pick the designed member that is generating the loads, which support to transfer the loads from, and what type of contact. Forte Web links the members and transfers the load from the beam onto the column in this example. With the Active Transfer Reaction link, you'll see you can't edit the type of load or any magnitudes. A link is displayed in the grid for that column as well as on the member icon in the job tree. If changes are made to the supported member, the one generating the load, the link's color will change, indicating that design needs to be rerun for those changes to be considered with the linked member. Wall members also have a lateral load applied. The lateral load is calculated based on inputs on the job's wind loading tab and the level's lateral wind load design settings. The load calculated is displayed in the member report. If you want to manually enter a load magnitude, you can check on the Do Not Apply Wind Load Settings checkbox on the Jobs Wind Loading tab. That will enable the wind field for editing. Or, if you don't want to apply the lateral load, you can delete it. If these loads are common to your business, you can save them as a default. For members, ForteWeb saves the default for each member type so new members of the same type get created with these selections. You'll see this button on multiple tabs. Saving defaults can save you time by setting up your jobs, levels, or members the way you want them. If you ever need to reset these defaults, go to Settings and click Reset All Job Defaults. If you need more information about the Loads tab, launch Help or chat with someone on the support team.